welcome back to my channel it's Paris Sierra I haven't said that in a long time I know I took a little break it's been four months since I made a YouTube video but I am back and I am better and I'm ready to update you guys on what I've been doing how I've been doing how my surgery went go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and give me a like and let's go last time that I did a video it was in May and it was after right after my surgery and looking back at that video you can even tell I'm just glowing different. I just look different. You know, I went shorter on my hair, went back to black. I just feel better. I just, you know, everything has just been going good. But it wasn't like that at the beginning. So I'm going to start off by telling how my experience was. Like, I'm going to be 100% honest and real because it was not an easy recovery. It's not an easy surgery. And I'm not even going to lie and sugarcoat it. But once you get past the hump, you'll feel great hopefully the last time that you guys saw me i was still in excruciating pain as you can tell like i just looked over it it was just so bad but i have like my phone right here and i have some notes in my phone because during my recovery i was talking about like how i felt and all this stuff so i have like actual days like entries in my notes when I was writing about how I felt. So I'm gonna read to you guys. Day four, I said, day four was terrible. The pain was so bad, I had a panic attack because I couldn't breathe when I was trying to turn over. It was really scary. I feel like the pain meds are not working. I am in constant pain. So that was day four. Um, I'm not even being dramatic. The pain literally is, it was undescribable. I didn't even think I could be in that much pain. Yeah, I was just, I was in a bad mood. I was being mean to my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I was just, it was so bad. Like, I couldn't even think about anything but the pain. And I could only take my meds every, I think it was six hours. So, I mean, I was on strong meds, but I didn't feel like they were working because I was still in pain. So, I don't really, that was just bad. Day five, I said, I woke up and thought I tore my incision. All I want to do is cry. This pain is so bad. It was not getting any better. I thought I was going to die. I regretted getting the surgery. I was like, I should not have done this. I should have just stayed with my cricket bag. So day seven. So I was still in Arkansas. Day seven is when I flew back to Georgia because I was going to recover in Georgia with my family. So I flew back with my mom. who was in first class because we wanted more room for me to be able to be comfortable. It did not work like it didn't help that was the worst plane ride of my life you guys it was so bad um like i had to be in a wheelchair to go through the um the airport because i couldn't walk obviously like i could only walk for like a certain amount of times before i would get super tired and i would be like in pain luckily i remember taking my pain meds right before we got on the plane so they would kick in while we were on the plane but yeah, I had to get back to Georgia somehow. I was gonna drive. My dad was gonna come here, get a minivan. We were gonna rent a van and then drive back to Georgia. Luckily, we did not do that because that would have been nine hours in the car of excruciating pain. So the flight was only an hour from Arkansas to Georgia. It was terrible, but so glad that we decided to fly instead of drive because I can't even imagine how that drive would have been. I would have had to lay down in the back seat, the bumps in the road, like getting out to use the bathroom, it would have been too much. So if you are able to purchase a plane ticket, if you have to travel back from like if your surgeon is not in your home state, I would definitely recommend flying, not driving because yeah, it was terrible. Like I didn't want to talk to anybody, I had an attitude, the lady pushing my wheelchair was trying to talk to me and I'm like, lady, I just had spinal surgery, just please just get me to point a to point b i don't want to have a conversation and now i feel so bad because i was just being so rude but i just really i couldn't help it i was hurting so much like it was just bad day 12 i wrote really bad night crying severe pain couldn't sleep another panic attack and depressed i'm not gonna lie i literally all i could do was lay in the bed uh i remember literally not even being able to roll that much i had to do log rolls to even get out of the bed going to the bathroom my mom had to wipe for me she had to give me a shower um i couldn't even really wash my face because i couldn't bend down in the sink so couldn't take care of my skin 
I couldn't hold my kids. I couldn't really eat. I didn't have an appetite. It was, everything was bad. I was literally so sad all day, every day. It was, even to think about it now, like how I'm feeling now, do not want to go back to that. Oh, yeah, no. It was bad. It was a really dark, dark time. Yeah, it goes on. I put an entry for June 1st. So I keep in mind, I had my surgery May 23rd. So I had to go to the ER for constipation. Um, I said, extremely painful day. Started taking Colace, that's constipation medicine, before payments. So you guys, I was so constipated. I looked like I was six months pregnant. Not even gonna lie. I took pictures so I will show you guys what I'm talking about because it was so bad. And so keep in mind, I was still in excruciating back pain. On top of that, I was extremely constipated. Like, I'm talking about my stomach was like, okay, maybe not that big, but it was like right here. Everything, it was like back to back to back. Everything was just being like terrible. I was taking all of these constipation meds. Nothing was working. I did not poop. I kid you not, for like almost two weeks. And if I did, it was just like a little bit. So it didn't really help. I ended up having to go to the ER three times because I was so constipated. My stomach started hurting. It was hurting so bad. It felt like, like needles. I don't even, oh my God, it was so bad. So the only thing that really worked for me to become like unconstipated was to drink coffee. After I took all the constipation meds, I did, what is it, the, uh, I forget what it's called, but I literally tried every single thing on the market for constipation. Nothing worked until I drank some coffee and it came flowing. Then I had a really, really bad migraine. Yeah, I had to go to the ER for that because I couldn't take any pain meds for it at the time because of my pain meds I was on for my back. I couldn't mix them and the migraine would not go away. I had to go to the ER and get a pain injection. So, oh my God. Oh, when I was constipated, I had to get an x-ray because they didn't know if I had like something actually like blocking my stomach or whatever. So I had to lay on that flat table. That was so painful. I was crying in the ER because they didn't really understand the severity of how like much pain I was in. I had to lay on like a hard surface it hurt really bad. It was just a bad experience. Don't recommend the Coliseum Hospital in Macon, Georgia. Oh, the ghetto. It was just terrible. But once I was able to use the bathroom, it started to get a little better. Still was really bad. My back was still hurting. I wasn't really getting out of the bed much. I would just get out of the bed to go to the bathroom. Um, I wasn't really eating. My mom had to force me to eat. I had to start drinking... Um, the insurers because I was losing weight I wasn't eating anything like barely at all I ended up losing 18 pounds and y'all already know I'm really skinny as it is so I was looking like stick and bones because you know when you're just depressed and laying in the bed not getting out you really just just not good I hadn't had my hair done didn't have my lashes I didn't have any nails on I was just looking crazy it was just a bad time so I finally, yeah, I said I finally used the bathroom on June 2nd. So yeah, I hadn't used the bathroom that entire time. It was really, really bad. My scar started um, actually looking really good around June 19th. I'm looking at this picture, but I'll show you guys. Um, I couldn't wet my scar. So when I showered, I started bathing myself again, probably, I would say in the in like middle of June. I just had to like be careful because I didn't want to fall in the shower. It was it was hard to shower because it was I would get really tired from not having any energy from not eating and also from the back pain. So showering was pretty rough. It was also rough to be standing up at the sink to brush my teeth and wash my face, but you know, I had to do it. But oof, y'all. When I tell you this surgery was it's not for the week. It is not for the week. It is the surgery is hard the recovery is hard but the result is yeah I feel so good now like my my scar looks so good like the pain that I have now 
is nothing compared to the pain I had before the surgery. I was in constant pain before, like, excruciating, like, it was just bad. And it was getting worse, felt like, by the day. So now I just have, like, I have soreness, I can't lift certain things, and I have, like, limited range of motion because, obviously, I have metal in my spine, so... But for the most part, I think I'm healing pretty good. Been back at work for almost two months now. I'm in physical therapy and yeah, it's just been looking good for now. Around, um, I would say July-ish, I started to get worried that my depression was getting a little too out of hand. So because I wasn't doing anything, like it was, kind of getting like dang all i do is lay in the bed all day i couldn't like pick up my kids they weren't really coming to me because i can't pick them up so they were like gravitating towards my parents and that was really hurting my feelings that on top of me losing all the weight not eating like not doing anything i was just laying in the bed i sometimes i didn't even want to watch tv i didn't even want to get on my phone didn't want to talk to anybody i would stay in the room with the door closed all day and it got to a really bad place so I had to reach out for help so don't ever feel like you can't reach out and get the help that you need because there's always somebody that you can talk to there's always you know numbers you can call places that you can go if you really need that help so don't ever feel like you're too tough or that they're not gonna help you because if if I wouldn't have got the help that I needed I don't think I would be as good as in a good of a place that I am now this surgery is major I don't care what anybody says I try to downplay this surgery changed my life at first it changed it for the worse I was like dang maybe I shouldn't have gotten this surgery but now that I'm I got it and I'm on the hill like on the journey I it's been around what four and a half months almost five months now and I did not think I would be doing as good as I am I'm actually really shocked because I've heard that the recovery time is a little longer. I just feel, I feel really good. Like my self-confidence is up. I can wear clothes that I want to now without being self-conscious about my curve. Like my scar is healing so nicely and you can barely see it. Um, I'm gaining weight back now because I didn't want to be as skinny as I was. So I'm glad I'm gaining weight now. My appetite is back to normal. I'm back at work. I got promoted. Um, I've been doing affirmations like almost every morning. I've been meditating. I've just been being more positive. And I think that this surgery had a lot to do with that. Also changing my mindset and just appreciating everything because I'm so appreciative that the military covered the surgery. Cause that surgery I know would have been uh, a hefty price. I'm really excited with where I'm going and the direction that my life is going now. So if you're thinking about getting the spinal fusion surgery, I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, but I'm just giving my experience. I don't regret getting spinal fusion surgery, even though it's only been almost five months. I haven't had like any complications besides when I was first healing, but that's normal. My surgeon warned me it wasn't gonna be easy. I knew from the start, I knew what I was getting myself into. He even told me that when I did my checkup with him. He was like, did you think I was joking? I told you this is not like a game. So if you're going into it thinking that it's gonna be easy, it's not. You have to find a new way of doing things because your body's never gonna be the same. So go in it with an open mind. Just know that the pain that you're in at the beginning is not gonna be forever, hopefully. I've, I've heard some horror stories, I'm not gonna lie. My surgeon was honest with me and told me some people don't come out of it pain free they actually come out of it with more pain luckily that's not the case for me and I hope if you're watching this and you're about to get the surgery that is the same for you if it's not I mean I guess you could kind of look at it at least that you will have a straighter back because hey if you look better sometimes it makes you feel better I know that's the case for me because you know I started doing my hair I learned how to do my makeup a little try but, you know, I've just been dressing up a little more, trying to just live a little more. And I really think that the Spinal Fusion had a lot to do with my journey. And, yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and to tell you guys, like, I'm doing okay. I'm doing great because I know a lot of you have been wondering where I've been. Um, I'm going to be back on YouTube now. So just leave some suggestions on videos that I should do or stuff you want to see. 
if you want to see i think the next video i'm gonna do is must-haves for spinal fusion surgery and also what you don't really need because i did buy a lot of stuff that i ended up not using so i feel like that'll be a helpful video if you think so go ahead and leave me a comment or just leave a comment and tell me any other video you want to see i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it's just a little quick update to let you know that i'm still here and i'm good and i can't wait to get back on youtube don't forget to leave me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button leave me a comment interact with me follow me on my social media and i will see you guys in my next video bye